Hey, how's everybody doing? Dr. Amina here today and I am having a very quick, short, I should say, um, uh, live video today because I kind of have to run but I want to show my face at least once a week so basically today's tip is how do you offset the effects of maybe some extra sugar or extra starch which of course refined starch is gonna go right to sugar right how do you offset it you offset it either by having a lot of fiber with it right so if you're having a meal and you're having a lot of pasta you maybe went to some place like Olive Garden and you know they have loads of pasta and so to offset the effect of that on your blood sugar because obviously all that pasta is going to break straight down to sugar you want to have it with a lot of vegetables and that Olive Garden for example they you know serve you this big bowl of salad which is refillable so you want to have a lot of vegetables maybe start by having the salad right and have quite a bit to fill your stomach and then when you have that starchy um, pasta because of all the fiber from the vegetables from the salad it's gonna slow the whole breakdown the digestive process and slow the absorption of all that sugar from the pasta okay so that's one thing another thing is also if you have more like you know the meal has incorporates healthy fats right um you know i don't know how healthy the fats from those olive garden meals are maybe a lot more of the um, well cheese if it's good cheese but they might have a lot of vegetable fats which are not the healthiest some of those vegetable fats vegetable oils are pro-inflammatory just that whole process of extracting vegetable oil like uh, soy oil and canola oil and so on those are not the healthiest but if you have healthy fats olive oil um, also avocado um, if you know not so whatever nuts or whatever so healthy fats right will also slow down the whole process of digestion and absorption of any sugar whether it be straight sugar glucose sucrose um, or um, from the, the the starchy food it, that that you've, you've ingested right so just do that I believe also that's why you know back in the day we weren't having sweets like all the time it was more like a dessert so if you have um, maybe a piece of cake or a piece of sweet chocolate right after your meal so if your meal was full of a lot of fiber from vegetables you know legumes um, or whatever right and then you had you know hopefully a moderate amount of some kind of complex starch wild rice sweet potato whatever right and then your meat right so you had that meat that meal which hopefully half of it 50% was vegetables and then it, the effect of your dessert would not be as dramatic on your blood sugar levels as if you just had you know you just started off with a piece of cake after having nothing in your stomach right so you maybe had a fast of maybe three four five hours and then you're suddenly going to have a piece of cake or if for the whole day you're grazing on a lot of candy and cake and things like that so that's not gonna you're gonna have always those high blood sugar levels compared to if you have a good meal solid meal 50% vegetables and whatever else right and then you have your dessert after the effect on your blood sugar and therefore your insulin levels will just not be as dramatic as if you just had plain sugar or starch you know bread or whatever without much vegetables with it right so I hope you all found this helpful have to run today um, next week again I'll come with another topic feel free to comment if you have any questions or if you have um, ideas for any other topics okay take care and have a good weekend bye